Rafa's gone, my friends, and it feels damn good to be alive now. Um, you know, I was starting to doubt everything in my life there when Rafa Benitez was the Everton manager, but we're here, we're back, baby, and we're ready to play Chelsea. We're on a four-game win streak, uh, but we lost to Man U in the last game, and now we have Chelsea. So not an easy run of games. We're in ninth position in the league. We need to be pushing up to the European positions, um, especially seeing as we're already in Europa League. We need to be getting Champions League football this year, hopefully. But please do drop a like if you enjoy these FIFA videos. Let's try to get over 100 likes on this video. Rafa Benitez is no longer the Everton manager, and I have taken over. I am now the new Everton manager in FIFA and in real life. So here's our squad. Pickford, Ahrens, Fofana, Godfrey, Digne, Ducore, Allen, Correa, Diaz, Calvert-Lewin, and Richarlis. And we're going to look to sell Diaz because he might be going to Liverpool and that's not something I can deal with. So we're going to replace him with someone else. Maybe Harvey Barnes or something. We'll see what the story is. But our players are a little bit tired, but they can play this game. There's no problems there. Uh, they, we might have to rest quite a few of them for the Newcastle game because the Newcastle game is in three days' time. So there you have it. Um, I've, I'm going to try and sign um, Patterson and Mike Alenko, but as it stands, the clubs aren't willing to let them go, which seems to be a problem a lot in this game for me, where... I try to sign someone that's like, this player is too important for the club. Like, it always happens. It's very frustrating. Anyway, look at this. We're actually wearing our Everton top today, um, ironically. So let's let's jump in. Uh, it looks like big Duncan Ferguson and Leighton Baines are going to be taking training today, um, which is interesting. But there's really been no talk about it at all from Everton's side of things. So I think they want to get a manager in before um before saturday's game against villa i don't know why they don't just give it to duncan ferguson for the next few games while we take our time Hello, finding a new Great manager personally i'd like Bridge. frank lampard I'm but Derek i'd Ray, also be okay with rain rooney absolutely not Ron roberto martinez Johnson. and thank and god so the belgian fa have Jim blocked uh, have blocked us from taking him because he Chelsea. like what is the Everton. matter with our board that they think it's a good idea to go back and appoint the first guy that mashiri sacked in the first place and there was protests martinez out banners it was it was not quite as top Toxic as Benitez, but it was it was up there, man. It was it was a terrible time. Martinez had one good season and then went rapidly downhill. He had one good season because he had the defensive stability of Moyes' team. After that, he, he was dog shit. And our and he had a much better squad than we have now, by the way. So and his signings terrible. I just don't understand the logic in going back and trying to get. Uh, trying to get Martinez back. It makes today. no sense. Robert it's not like he's done a lot with Belgium either or evolved a lot as a coach or something. No, he's just... He's just the same old Roberto Martinez. Maybe he's evolved a little bit. Maybe he'd be a little bit better, but a little bit better than what he was is still shit, to be honest. So uh, that is not something that I want whatsoever, and I would be disgusted if we went back and got Martinez uh, successfully. So... No! Oh. Good save, Jordan. Good save, Jordan. But yeah, I'd be happy with Frank Lampard. I'd be happy with Wayne Rooney. I'd be happy with Nico Kovac. And those are the three names that seem to be uh, doing the rounds at the moment. Um, I'd be okay with any of the three of them. Wayne Rooney, just because... I feel like he's doing an immense job at Derby County. I think it might be a little too early for him. So that's why I kind of am on the train of having Duncan Ferguson and Leighton Baines in until the end of the season. And then we can assess how Wayne Rooney's doing. We could maybe get Frank Lampard in. He said he wanted a full preseason uh, so he can get his own transfers and stuff like that into a team, I believe. Um, uh, you know, that's something that I've thought about but if they want to appoint someone before the end of the season and, and they want to appoint a new permanent manager then that's fair enough uh, but don't rush it give Dunk a couple of games at least don't rush it and try and get him get a new manager in straight away and get the wrong man like they were going to try and do with Martinez um, Duncan Ferguson will do a job for a few games he'll uplift the spirits he'll He'll lift the training ground, ground in the players and he won't let them get away with any bullshit. So that's why I'm in support of that. Correa, Ducore, Calvert-Lewin. Oh, it was nice play, but not to be. 
yeah, I'd love um, I'd love to see Dunk get a couple of games. And, and Frank Lampard's my first choice, but I'm biased because I really do. He was my favorite player growing up, apart from Everton. Outside of Everton, Frank Lampard was always my favorite player. I used to pretend to be him out the back garden when I was taking free kicks and penalties and stuff. I used to be like, get Lampard! <laughs> when I was like a, a young kid, so I'm biased. But I also do think he's underrated as a manager, and I really think he could do a good job with the squad that we have, bring him through youth, everything like that. I really really do believe that he could do a good job for us in the long term as well. Um, a young, hungry, hungry coach. He's a smart guy. Um, he has like 150 IQ or something. I know that doesn't lead to being a good manager automatically, but I really like um, what he done with Derby. He got them to the playoffs. And look what's happened to them since he's left. I know that's not really saying anything about the job he did, but um, I think he done an underrated job at Chelsea as well in his first season especially done really well to get them into the top four um, and then you know just spent a lot of money on players that I'm not gonna say we're, we're bad because they weren't a lot of the players that Chelsea got were really good um, but just they needed time to gel and you're not gonna get time with Chelsea and that's the problem I feel like I think Lampard could have turned it around he might not have won the Champions League like Thomas Tuchel did straight away Chelsea were looking for instant success and Lampard wasn't gonna give you that really uh, so yeah, I, I feel like he could do a really good job still. Sorry for the Correa. rant now, but Correa! And saved by Kepa Rizabalaga. Also, guys, you can get 20% off Rogue Energy using my code, the Apex Hound. Would be greatly appreciated. It's double commission for the month of January, so if you do buy it and use my code, you're helping me out doubly. That would be awesome. I'm going for a blue raspberry mixed with strawberry kiwi today. So, an interesting one, but so far so good. I like the, I like the combination. I do a half of each, a half scoop of each. Diaz. No, Correa, oh, you left it behind you. It's honestly really making me nervy that Diaz is even on the pitch now. Because, you know, I'm just... I'm expecting him to move to Liverpool now, and then I'll be I'll be getting sick if I ever see him in my videos and stuff. What a tackle, Max. What a tackle, Max Ahrens, you beast. Maxi. Albert Lewin finds Luca Digne, who left a few days before Everton sacked Rafa Benitez, and he left because of Rafa Benitez. A lot of the players, according, um, uh, apparently, were left baffled by that, that we decided to sell Digne days before sacking Rafa Benitez. And that's beautiful from Diaz and Max Ahrens. Ooh. Alan, what a ball! Diaz, Correa! Saved by Kappa! I'm living in an alternate universe where Rafa got sacked a few days earlier and I took over, all right? <laughs> Dinye is still with us. We're fine. Lukaku, now. Lukaku you're shit, mate. you shit. Well done, Correa. Diaz could be Diaz. in here. Oh, I tried to go for the low cross. But that's going to be halftime, nil-nil. It seems like, yeah, I'm seeing more and more rumors that Everton are rushing to appoint a manager before Saturday. I just don't get this logic. Like, why would you not want Doug as manager on Saturday? I guarantee you he gives us such a lift that we win that game. Like, I guarantee it. More so than any other manager really could, I think. Unless we get Carlo back or something, but I don't know. That's a beautiful over-the-top ball. Calvin Lewin goes for the header, but not to be. I'm just confused by the, by the thinking, but I mean, it's the Everton board. They live to confuse us. Luis Diaz. Diaz still. Ducore. Correa. Correa finds Ducore! Oh, and it's the post! No! You have to score that, Dukes. You have to score that, man. Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now. Alvaro and Ducore. Luis Diaz. But Charleston. Kepa gets it. God, man. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, jeez, man. That's a hell of a goal, but it should never have got to that point. He turns. Who was it that he turned so easily there? Look at this. Here, right here, look. Kante. Alan misses that. Godfrey. He just turns him like a, Turns him inside out, man. What a good sakes. What a nightmare, lads. It's with Alan. Beautiful from Maitland Niles. Van der Beek. 
Oh, come on, Donnie. It's a pen! It's a pen! That was never a pen! <laughs> okay, come on. We gotta score this now, though. That was never a penalty. But a lot of referees would have booked him there. I don't know about on that one. one. No I do not me. know about that one, but I'm going to take it regardless. Is it going to be Richie or DCL? Who's actually better at pens, though? It won't let me change. Okay. An opportunity to level matters. Yes! Richarlison scores from the spot! And the pigeon strikes again, baby! Come on! Yes, dude! Let's take Beautiful. Bang. Yeah, beauty, Richie. Yeah, really beauty. Let's go, boys. Massive. Absolutely massive. And we're back on level terms with 10 minutes to play, I believe. Yep, nine minutes to play. Back plus stoppage way. time. Yeah, Let's go ahead and win this thing. This game. We could win at Stamford Bridge. It would be massive. I mean, a draw wouldn't be the end of the world, but how good would a win be? Richarlison! Push through Van der Beek! Donny Van der Beek! Oh, it's the inside of the post! No! Oh, my God. What a goddamn couple of minutes that would have been. That would have been an unbelievable turnaround. All right, come on. We have one more attack here. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside the bridge. What the fuck was that, Dinye? I tried to pass it to Alan, you muppet. Just what in God's them. name was that, Lucas? No wonder you're sold, pal. What was that a free for? What? For what? I have no idea why a free was given there. Okay, Pickford's ball. Do we get one more attack? Probably not, no. Damn it. All right. There it is. The full one one at the end of the well, world there. A penalty saves us. I'm not sure it was a little bit of a controversial one, but we'll take we'll take the result. Pickford and Gallagher love it. It's 1-1. One, one. Team was a little bit tired. The Newcastle game, now we're going to have to rest a couple of players, I think. <sighs> Pretty even game overall, but we'll take it. We got our result. Post-match press conference. I haven't done one of these in a while, actually. I didn't even mean to do it, but we'll do it. Sure. Can we ask you a question? Sure. I mean, why else would I freaking be here, mate? <laughs> yeah, we responded pretty well, eh? We were resilient today. That's it. We didn't let our heads drop. All right, sorry, my doorbell went. We're still in ninth after that, but we're playing Newcastle now who are actually ahead of us. Surprisingly, Newcastle are in eighth. We gotta beat them. Zach Brantwaite, that's meant to be Brantwaite there. Jesus Christ. Okay. We have a transfer budget of 84, 84 million, man. Like, quite a severe transfer budget, I must say. So Ismail Assar and Mikkel Damsgaard or two we could look at potentially to replace Luis Diaz. Scott McTominay, maybe, to bring in as a CDM. Or Kulisevsky is one that Everton were linked with in real life as well that we could use to replace um, replace uh, Luis Diaz. Or our boy Everton. <laughs> All right, Newcastle United, here we go. Let's do this thing. Let's start Maitland-Niles right back. <sighs> All right, we need a win to go ahead of Newcastle here, so let's go ahead and beat them, eh? Let's batter these. Well, thanks, Derek. All right, massive game here, boys. Done, big, big game. We need a win. The right to play. If you can win your individual battles, out or we might be opponent, heading outside the top ten. Get the space to Gallagher finds Luis Diaz. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Bamford. Now Correa has been fouled, surely. Oh, that's uh -oh. a pass of high quality. Wow, what a oh, save, Pickford. Well, massive. Right. That's a Jordan, Jordan, save. Jordan, Just mate. Yeah, beauty. The lead here. Oh, good save, Pickford. Well done, Jordan Lyles. Well, that's the end of that for now. A big pack that no goals well, conceded, or least goals there. conceded, rather. It's a fantastic is, uh, sight thanks to that man, swear. Jordan Pickford, as well. The pace of Luis Diaz is just too much. Diaz, Bamford, yes! Luis Diaz creates, and Bamford dispatches. And Everton lead 1-0 at Goodison Park against the richest club in the world. Yeah, beauty, Bamford. Yeah, beauty.
Well, I think about maybe game. replacing the Bamford as well with a better perfect. backup striker, Highland but I don't know. I like I like Bamford, I do, but maybe a younger, hungrier striker, goal. something like that. We'll see what happens in this transfer window. I'm, I'm thinking about making quite a few changes in this transfer window. We'll see what happens. Well on Bamford, lad, you beauty. I still, I, I freaking forgot to change it. Again, uh, the formations. I need to change my Newcastle defensive United formation and change again. my defense our attacking formation. Oh. oh good save, out. Jordan. Good what save, save, Jordan. Well done. Jordan, lad. You beauty. Now sending it in. Fine good save again, Jordan. Away. away by Godfrey and Allen. And now it's Anthony Gordon. Takes it on. Oh. Good save again from Jordan Pickford. He's had to make quite a few already this game. And he might have to make Alan. quite a few more before the game's just over. Receiving news of a goal at the Etihad. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? And for Would what a ball to Diaz. City, Diaz. Bamford. Correa. Goal. It's two. It's two before half time. And Joaquin Correa has put us. In the comfort zone, baby. Let's go. Your beauty. Your beauty. Well, here it is Lovely again. stuff. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None Beautiful. Of which they did, and that's the Beautiful result. stuff, boys. Look at that finish. Outside of the booth, into the top of the net. Array has been a resounding success for us, to be honest. I think he's done a, a lot better of a job than so Donny has in that CAM role. Uh, he's got more opportunities, to be well, fair, but that's because he's been playing better. A Correa again. Luis Diaz. Look at the pace of this man, Diaz. Correa! It's literally three to Brasca. Makes an unbelievable save. And Sean Longstaff's not coming to Everton anymore. Because Rafa's gone, baby. Let's go. Chalk and challenge, Longstaff. Don't be mad now that we don't want you anymore, right? Good tackle, didn't you? Oh, great vision. Wilson. That was lovely play. And a good save from Jordan Pickford. Lovely play from Newcastle in fairness there. It really was. Away, Maitland. Hold on. Oh, oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I was pressing square to head oh, it out, and, and Alan slid in, man. Damn it, well, look, I pressed square. Come on. Well, he's made a genuine attempt come to play on. the ball, so penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. This to get back into it. Yes, Jordan! Justice! Yes, Jordan, lad. Have that, Callum. Yeah, dickhead. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, Let's go, boys. To going in that time. That's bloody well have you. Time for the change now. All right, I'm going defensive, and I'm going to change the formation as well. I'm going to go five at the back and bring on Jared Brantwaite. Sounds good to me. We'll bring on Ellis Sims for Correa as well. You did well, Correa. You did well, son. Let's go. All right. Here's Ellis Sims. Sims, Bamford, three! Sims is just on the pitch for a matter of moments and gets an assist for Patrick Bamford, who scores his second of the night. And it's 3-0 against Newcastle. We couldn't score against Chelsea, but we're running riot at Goodison here. Beautiful stuff. Newcastle under Eddie Howe are capitulating once again. Patrick Bamford, yeah, beauty. So the action Ellis Sims gets an assist. No I think it. he was on Everton the pitch for about 30 seconds. And he's already involved in a goal. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff, Ellis. That should be game, set, and match as well. Oh my god, what a goal by Oxley Chamberlain. That's a banging goal. Jesus. Okay. They've got themselves back into it. Alex Oxley Chamberlain well, with a barn buster there. So sweetly done. 
Well done. Well done, Jared. That's free never a free, a free kick. What are you talking about? Is that a sick joke, ref? Jared Brantwaite with a brilliant tackle completely Matt cleanly Matt gets the ball and he gives a free Matt kick. Matt. That's an absolute disgrace there. Well, the stats don't lie. Everton have had a lot of possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball. Sims so cuts inside. Blatant red card there. He was never getting close to that. Unbelievable if he doesn't get a card here. He doesn't. Okay, yellow card. Yeah, the ref got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. I still haven't scored a free kick in FIFA 22, and I nearly did so for the very first time there with Luca Digne. Here's Oxley Chamberlain. Takes the shot. Good save, Jordan. Good save, Jordan. Sure, we'll make that sub with three minutes left. Let's go. All right, lads. Pretty good performance. It's going to be three points in the bag here. It seems like, and uh, quite happy with that, I must say. Well, they survived the attack. Quite happy with that indeed. And we move on to the Wilson. next... I think we have another Premier League game. I'm not sure, actually. In the right place to cut out the I didn't pass. check who we're playing next. The electronic board has Sims. been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four... The fuck was happening with your touch there, Alan? <laughs> Uh-oh. Wilson. Can he put it away? Oh! Godfrey really intercepts at last second. And that's going to be game, set, and match there. Gallagher, can we get one more attack here? Bamford? No, that's game. All right, happy with that. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff. Big win. Maximum points. Good start to this video. Draw against Chelsea. And uh, a good win against Newcastle at home here. So we'll, uh, we'll take that all day long. Jordan Pickford had a good game once again. Allen had a very good game, actually. And Patrick Bamford is the man of the match, just narrowly edging Jordan Pickford. Correa, Allen, Diaz, and Sims all had good games. Oh, we're up to fifth with that win. Holy moly, we're up to fifth, and we've played the same amount of games as everyone else. Holy shit. Hell yes. Risk losing five players. Who are they? Oh, Jesus. Okay, we need to... We need to get new contracts for Ducore, Allen, Ducore. Well, I just said Allen twice, didn't I? Or Ducore twice. Uh, Marcus Alonso, I probably won't. Fucking start. It. That seems unreasonable that his wages will be that high, doesn't it? We'll say a three year deal. Bring it to 32. No release clauses fined by me. Yeah, I'm not offering him fucking 160,000. I'll tell you that much. I'll offer him 100,000 with the signing bonus of 400,000 or something like that and see if he's okay with that. Yeah, see, he's happy with that. Why would I ever offer him 160 to 260,000? <laughs> Definitely don't want to delegate in the future then, eh? Give him a raise of two grand and we'll offer him 300,000 signing bonus. How's that? And he's happy with it. Okay. See, it's easy. You just got to give them a small little bonus, and they're happy enough, to be honest. That's it. That's it, man. That, but... Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to end negotiation there. My bad, bro. Oh, I'm a, I'm a dickhead. I did not mean to end that. I'm so sorry, bro. I'm going to add Patrick Bamford and Marcus Alonso to the transfer list instead of, uh, instead of waiting for their contracts to expire. I'll do that. Because I don't really want to re-up either of their contracts. I'll, I'll re-up the Corey's though. I'll, I'll just, uh, I think I need to wait a little bit now. I didn't mean to do that at all. Oh, right, we have Nottingham Forest in the league. Have we figured out who we have in the cup yet? In the knockout stages. Oh, who's that? Portsmouth. Oh, that's the FA Cup. Okay. <laughs> I was like, we hardly have them in the Europa League now, do we? Have they not? Have they still not come up with the draw for the Europa League? Knockout stages. Wild. I thought it would have been done by now, honestly. Nottingham Forest, 18th position. We can go into the top four potentially with a win here. But uh, we are three full points behind Leicester, so they would have to lose and we'd have to win. And we'd have to go ahead of them on goal difference as well. So I don't know how that will pan out. But uh, we'll see what the story is. Demari Gray. Oh, I wanted to do something as well, though. I wanted to get our... Before I do this, I wanted to get our formations. Our actual defensive formations here. Defensive formation, I want it to be a 5-2-1-2. Uh, 
So I want my defensive formation to be, okay? Come on, Dinier. Good tackle. Really good tackle. Important last-ditch tackle. Calvert-Lewin. Now Allen. And now Richarlison. Richarlison brushes off the defender. Finds Calvert-Lewin. That's a blatant foul. Richarlison blocked. Oh, it should be a free. Should be a free. I didn't get enough of an advantage there, I don't think. And Alan wins it back, not quite. And here's how will be the player to decide the outcome to determine oh, beautiful the course play. of events. Correa. No now Richarlison. Richarlison does, does really well. I would describe him as majestic. Richarlison, Calvert Lewin. Oh, 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 oh. it's a little bit of a cluster the fuck there, but the, uh, the keeper comes out with the ball. Situations. He's the most creative player Ducori on the field today. Wins the header there nicely. Well, Correa. Richarlison now. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, I think the scoreline tells us what a couple of was. Finds to marry Gray back from injury. Not keeping a clean sheet. Today, and however, they may not enjoy quite as much of the ball, and therefore a draw looks the most likely outcome. Alan. Calver Lewin. Oh, That's Correa, spot. actually. That's a foul. Oh my god. He still has it. Correa finds Richardson. Oh Jesus. I don't know what was going on there. Oh, you dick. I, I was wa looking for too much time there. Alan wins it though. Oh my god, lads, come on. Supply. Come on. Create a bloody clear cut chance, will you? Oh, what a ball from Calvert Lewin. Gray's in. in. Gray's got time. Can he convert? What am I doing? Oh, why didn't I expect the keeper to come out and he just stood still like an idiot? Really good enough, was it? Like, I mean, it was the right decision by him in the end, but it was only because I just expected him to come out. I would have just shot and scored if I didn't. to get better. Well, not cleared away completely. Oh, my God. Imagine he scored that right before halftime. I would be pissed. I would be pissed. That's a red card. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's a yellow. It's a yellow. Oh, I thought we were going to get a red there. I really thought that was going to be a red card, 100%. Ducore finds Richarlison. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, what a save. I'm going attacking. I got to go for this game. We have to win this, man. I'm going attacking, which brings us to a 4-1-2-1-2. I'm going to bring Ducore off, and I'm going to bring on Patrick Bamford. I feel like he deserves... To play after how well he did in the last game. He scored two goals in the last game, so we're going to go with that. All right, let's do it. Come on. Uh, I'm going to bring on Ducor or Gordon for Gray and put Richarlison out right as well because Gray's just back from injury. He's done pretty well, but. And he's fired over the corner. Calvert Lewin! Oh, <gasps> what a save! This man's just made unbelievable back to back saves. Wow. Premier League action coming up for you soon on Look at EA TV. It's Everton Lewin. West Bamford! Yes! What a sub! A super sub! Patrick Bamford comes on and scores his third goal in two games! Yeah, beauty! He's just been added to the transfer list, but maybe he's looking to get a new contract! He wants a new contract well, instead. He, he did a Paulo Dybala and looked up at the uh, looked up at the uh, at the director. After scoring, he was, that was beautiful, wasn't it? When Dybala scored and the contract could, talks have broken down, he's just staring up at the director after he scores a banger. That was lovely. Patrick Bamford is on fire, baby. Oh, Bamford's on fire. Patty Bamford, your beauty. So back playing once more, and it's Everton with the lead. Is this away as well? Yeah, we have West Brom next away from home, I think. Good tackle, Max Ahrens. That's the kind of tackle that Everton fans love to see. And the cross into the middle. No! What a goal! I was going to take that guy out in the wing, but Godfrey was on a yellow already, so I was like, I don't want to get someone sent off right now. But that's a banging goal, that is. That is a banging goal. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross this. into the box this is. Yeah, see, I was going to press square and try and take him out, but I was like, oh, not get any he's going to be gone. The back of the ball with such power. It would have been he worth it, I think. <laughs> so the ball is running again at one all. What is that, Dom? What is that, Dominic? 
Well on arms. Brilliant interception. Albert Lewin just about gets it out to Correa, who On finds Richarlison. And now Bamford again. Patrick Bamford! You beauty! It's four in two games for Bamford. And he scored again. Unbelievable. He comes on as a super sub and scores two. And I'm looking to replace well, him. What am I doing? Down, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Patrick Bamford sun, scores right again. Up. And what do you think, guys? Should we give him another chance? Should we re renegotiate his contract? I'm not sure. Unbelievable. Bang. Sixth goal in 12 matches. It's his fourth in two. Incredible. Now make use of the substitutes bench. Batty, Batty Bamford, Batty Bamford, Batty Bamford. That was a bit of a bad tackle from Correa, but what can you do? It's a game we have here, Derek. Good tackle, Richarlison. And Allen finds Bamford, who finds Calvert-Lewin. Can Calvert-Lewin cap it off here? He can't. Not directly, at least. Bamford. Looking for space. Alan, oh no, I think we we might them? have uh, broke down this attack unless Gordon can do something with it. Gordon! Yeah. Come on, boys. We only have three minutes to, to hold on here. Until they have a goal in the future. They're giving it a go. Well done, Aaron's. Well done, Aaron's. That's a terrible tackle. Absolutely horrendous. Inye is going to be yellow carded here. Coming, really. And, so it's a free and they're going to have one last and chance. Card for that, Stuart. And he's Do have not to be let this now. slip that now. A silly challenge. Yes, Kansa. Clear it. Right over for and Alan change. clears it. Oh, there's four minutes. I shouldn't have cleared it like over that. I thought that was going to be game, set, and match. But that could be. Richarlison finds Bamford now. Calvin Lewin! Yes! Yes! Calvin Lewin finishes the game off! And the Toffees go wild! <laughs> yes, sir! Dom absolutely loves it. He deserved a goal. He hasn't been scoring much in the last few videos, but there's a goal for Calvin Lewin to finish the three points off and that's going to be seven points from the three games we play in this video we're not doing any cup games it's all in the league and calvert lewin buries it boom there's talks now that frank lampard and wayne rooney are both being ever interviewed for the everton manager uh, vacant position i hope one of them gets it i'd love to see it honestly a young hungry, hungry coach get the goddamn job and let's go boys let's go come on and three points for Everton. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough. Well they... done. Pickford loves it. And Everton win again. Bamford comes on and does his duty and scores two goals. And Calvert-Lewin and Bamford both with a 9.3 performance. Unbelievable stuff from them. Richarlison had a good game too. And other than that, not much going on. We've got West Brom and then we have Arsenal shortly after, actually. So, interesting. I'm going to reject that. Thanks, though. Also going to reject that. Thanks, though. Belgium. I mean, I'm tempted to accept that just because Martinez. Uh, <laughs> you stopped us getting Martinez, so I'll stall that one. What do you think? Should I take something for the world? Should I take an international job for the World Cup, boys? <laughs> what do we reckon? Halfway through the season, and we're in fifth position. Leicester did win, so they stay three points ahead of us, but we're keeping touch with the top four, at least, as we go to West Brom. Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison, and Correa all a little bit tired, so we might have to rest players here now, but uh, we'll see what the story is. Uh, we're getting close to the transfer window as well, so it's December 28th. In the next video, actually, we should be, uh, be able to sign some players, and who we're going to sign is going to be uh, the question. We'll have to wait to see who goes out. Out, I suppose is Pam is Bamford gonna go we could bring in Schick to replace him potentially um we'll see what happens could sign McTominay let me know who you think we should sign as well guys maybe we could sign uh Damsgaard Sar Kulisevsky to replace uh Luis Diaz if we do end up selling him as well so thanks for the support make sure to drop a like if you enjoy these videos and I'll see you guys in the very near future for more Everton career mode it's been my pleasure to serve you all and I'll see you next time peace out